Magellan began to send back reams and reams of data, and a whole new generation of geologists set to work on it. When the first image data came back from Magellan, I went in about four in the morning, looked at, at the first strip of Magellan data, this first track down the planet. to see the planet surface being revealed in such incredible detail and to say, I'm, I'm one of the first people who's ever looked at, at this piece of ground on Venus. It, you felt like such an explorer. The first images showed that Venus had many similarities to Earth. There were large mountain ranges, some of them almost similar to the, the Himalayas. There were long faults on the planet that looked maybe sort of similar to, to faults we see on the Earth. There were volcanoes, lots and lots of volcanoes on the surface, very large ones, much larger than some on the Earth, others on a similar scale. But then an alien landscape emerged. There were these huge circular features, and by huge I mean about 250, 300 kilometers across. They were encircled by ridges. They were high, they were sort of mountainous, and they tended to have volcanoes all over the surfaces of them. And we just said, what are these features? How could they have formed? We've never seen anything like them. The 3D images revealed giant blisters that had oozed lava from every crack. And the surface of Venus seemed to be cut with channels. They looked like long rivers going across the surface of the planet, but we know with Venus's incredibly high surface temperatures, there's no way that water could have formed those channels, so they had to have been formed by lava. There are other volcanic features that look like pancakes. They have very steep sides and very flat tops, and it literally looks like somebody threw a bunch of pancakes out onto the surface of the planet. There were other kinds of volcanoes that looked like little squashed bugs, like ticks. Everywhere you look, you see some sort of volcanic feature, a flow, a small volcano, a weird channel. It's just dominated by volcanism, and that's just something we weren't prepared for, really, at all. It's intriguing to look at this surface that you say, it should be so much like the Earth, it's not. How did it get this way? It's just a puzzle, and, and to me, that's what makes Venus so interesting.